if I could do something, I would. And we've been to discuss about it since I have food. Why not the food? So we would love to do some food out. And lots of it. Close to 350 to-go boxes of chicken lo mein and fried rice was given to health care workers and first responders today. All the chicken is gone, all the fried rice is gone. And it took hours to prepare. So rice, but owner Rena Fang had some help. Right now we've been have uh, 10 people back there to prepare for this food. All my families, all my friends, my husband, my dad, and everybody's here to support me to doing this. Without them, I cannot make this happen by my own. All of this to show her appreciation for those working the front lines of this pandemic. Really touching my heart. Yeah, I am really appreciate them. And then, you know, I can't believe that as a lot of people come out and get their food. I'm really happy. Filling her heart by filling other stomachs. As an immigrant from Cambodia who grew up in poverty, she knows how it feels to go without. My family back then, 20 years ago, I'm about to cry, I'm sorry. We're living without no food to eat. So when I saw some people have something to eat, we were standing looking at them. It's like, oh, I wish I could have something to eat. So that tear is still stuck in my heart. So I promised myself that if I would be able to give the food to someone, I would. So today I make it happen. She opened up this place nearly four years ago as a dream turned into a reality. And just as things started looking up for her restaurant, she had to close for two weeks due to coronavirus concerns. Basically, I work for free to get my employee get through this. She tells me she spent roughly $4,000 on this event to show her appreciation for those who held her up before this pandemic, reminding us we will get through this. Well, I want people to know that sometimes the business not just all about business. It's about what you love too. Rashida Kaba, Fox 8 News.